around the daytime. This right here, you remember I showed y'all when I did this like two or three years ago. So I'm gonna replace this. I'm gonna um, create a resin uh, painting, do my first painting or artwork with resin. You see these curtains here just got some uh, mushroom curtains so I had made another curtain I had bought some fabric you see this yeah it's just sheer fabric with the sequins I had bought I had made some curtains to put on top of these curtains <laughs> and I like this idea with using garlands and I put some uh, spray some adhesive on it and um, you know sprinkle the later on it <laughs> Now this is a couch. This is my second time real postering this here couch. Now this is a somewhat grunge fabric. I'm not pleased with this job though. I have two of these mermaid fabric pillows that I bought at Kohl's department store, but I don't know where the other one is. It's missing. But yeah, I had real posted this couch, you see? And I'm not too pleased with it. I was pleased before when I reupholstered my couch um, with the gold winter, what was it called? Winter gold fabric. It was a, 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 like a pleather kind of fabric. Now this here, it's a somewhat velvety like fabric. Well, there are two fabrics actually that I use here because I ran out of this fabric and I could not find it at Joanne's Fabric. It's like they don't sell it anymore or something. But it was like a sea foam, like grunge fabric. Um, it's it's kind of costly. It's like what was it like, like thirty to fifty dollars per yard. Um, but I ran out of that fabric, and uh, so I had to with this somewhat kind of velvety, like like velvet like fabric that's less expensive. But yeah, this was some good fabric. It was kind of hard, very hard kind of trying to sew through this fabric. Now, some of this I did with my sewing machine. And some I had to do, like, within the seams and everything. Uh, within these, you know, had to do by hand. And this was some tedious work. But I'm not very pleased with it. <laughs> I'm not very pleased. Yeah, I've done the entire couch. You can see the side of the couch. I'm not very pleased it looks kind of frumpy um and, you know also I was upset because I ran out of this fabric but you see also a lot of that gold on the fabric it's like killing off but you see here this is the sofa I'm, I'm one of those people I'm kind of a hoarder <laughs> throw things away and this sofa is in good condition this love seat is in good condition okay it's not sunken in or anything like that so what reason would I have to throw it away um yeah next time if I do decide to real post it I'm gonna show y'all how I did it step by step yeah, so you can see this was some tough work some hard work using my staple gun and sewing machine and needle and thread by hand and I'm just not so pleased with the job. I'm not really as pleased this time as I was before. So what do I do? I have an idea to take some pillows that I had bought and add it to this sofa to fancy it up. Where's my other pillow with the mermaid sequins fabric? I have two of these pillows that I got from Kohl's. But perhaps I'll show you how to make pillows, do-it-yourself pillows. Remember the, the plankton that I made? <laughs> With Play-Doh, I made plankton. <laughs> they already broke, I had to glue back on the arm. You see the arm is short. So the antenna is now broken. Uh, plankton! <laughs> 
can't wait to start a play though. But anyways, 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 anyways. I have these throw pillows here. The big one, throw pillows. Pack of two of them. Okay, it's made of a fall fur shell, 100% polyester, but I am going to make a new shell or a new pillowcase for this. Now this is 16 by 16 inches, okay? The shell of this throw pillow is 16 inches by 16 inches, length, width, okay? So being that we would need a seam allowance, we need some extra room, of course, we're gonna cut out a fabric that's bigger. Now, I already bought this like polyester fabric here. See this fabric, it's really nice. Um, I bought this like over winter. Yeah, it looks kind of seasonal. It looks like snowflakes or something. Intended to be uh, like table mats, okay? Like kind of like doilies. Um, made of polyester that you put plates and dishes on on your table and dining room table. Yeah, and being that this is 16 by 16 inches, we're going to make this bigger or um, the length is going to be longer and the width is going to be wider to allow for a seam allowance. So if this is 16 by 16 inches, I should allow for like a quarter to one inch seam allowance. So it would be best to get the, a fabric that is like uh, 17 by 17 inches. You can buy the fabric yourself, like one yard of fabric, a half to one yard of fabric, okay? And just cut out the fabric yourself, you know, go to somewhere like Joanne's Fabric and get you some fabric. But I chose to buy these doilies, okay? Um, I have fabric, but I chose to buy these doilies. Yeah, this is like 17 and a half by 18 and a half inches. Being that there's already a seam here, because I'm too lazy and I don't feel like marking <laughs> off the seam allowance. So I'm just gonna sew within this seam, which is like, there's like a quarter inch seam here all around. And I'm gonna sew it together and see, and that allows room for me to stuff these pillows in here. So I'm gonna do two pillows. And for each pillow, you need two of these cutouts for the front and the back of the shell of the pillowcase. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna put good side to good side. Good side meaning the side that you want to show, okay? And of course, the gold is what's gonna show. So we're gonna put the good side, the gold side, to the gold side, okay? Pin it together, make sure it's all even. See, good side to good side and inside. Okay, so we're gonna be sewing this like inside out, but let's pin it together first, okay? Got my little pin cushion here, maybe for my what was a floater. Okay, let's put it together. Okay, so as you can see, I pinch all around, good side to good side. It's gonna be sewn inside out, okay? And I've pinned all around, I've put pins all around. And I'm gonna be sewing with my sewing machine all around. However, I have to leave a side open so that I can be able to stuff these pillows inside, okay? So I'm not gonna completely sew all around. So this end I'm gonna leave like open. I may sew like at the edges, like two inches on the edges. So let me mark that off. So I know to not sew between these blue markings. I've marked it off with this blue sewing pencil. See where I've marked off the blue here, two inches from the edge inches from the edge and if you can see it I've marked it blue so I know that I will not be sewing in between here I'll remove the pins we're gonna leave this open so that we could be able to stuff the pillow inside once we turn it inside out once I've sewn all around the rest okay so let's get to sewing and perhaps I'll give you the link to a video showing you how to thread this machine the machine that I'm using here it's a Brother SQ928 
five computerized sewing machine. Removing the pins along the way. shell and pillowcase. And if you don't have a pillow, just get some filling, some cotton or polyester filling. Some extra room here. Now I'm going to sew this together by hand, but being that there's some extra room, I'm going to need some cotton filling to fill in here. Yeah, here's some, I have a bag full of old cotton polyester filling and foam and stuff <laughs> that I can reuse. Straight it in here good. I want it to be spread in here good. It's not lumpy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this thread from here and I'm gonna sew by hand with this curved needle, you see? Thread, through the thread, make it about, about twice as long, the thread about twice as long as this opening. I'm gonna kind of fold it inward somewhat. So I'm folding it inward. You see? Let me put this needle inside of here so that the knot isn't sticking out. I'm gonna sew this together. So let me first put the needle through here. I'm gonna make sure that the knot is gonna be inside of the pillowcase. Pull this together, kind of fold it inward. I'm gonna kind of fold this inward. And I'm just gonna be sewing it together. Pretty good. Okay, let's open the pillow. And I'm 
gonna make one more. So now we have the throw pillows. They are completed. One I stopped, I add extra um, filling to, but this one I didn't. <laughs> As you can see. So it kind of helps a little bit, and then I'm not very pleased with the love seat that I reupholstered. But that kind of kind of helps. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it goes well. Maybe I'll do something with it. This pillow in the center. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it, it kind of goes with the living room. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, family.